You see, uh, thousands of years ago, the divine Lord was able to intuitively intrude and uh, intertwine himself with the ancient shaman state of mind, with the prophets, with the seers. And so God, it was, um, um, it, it, what we're, do, we're talking about is two ends of the divine spectrum. You see, in the middle, you have this uh, visible, the, the visible spectrum where all things that are apparent to the eyes appear. Well, if you take that as a metaphor, you see everything that we see has an invisible dimension preceding it and a division of invisible dimension proceeding from it. So if you just take history, the apparent unfolding of history, as all compressed into the visible spectrum of light, things we understand, things we can see. Well, before that is this time in which the Lord of Heavens interacted with the minds of the prophets. There was this invisible interaction going on between shamans, prophets, seers, all throughout the earth, all throughout the earth and every continent, God was speaking to um, those who were able to um, perceive the voice of the invisible God. And um, thousands of years transpired as these mystics began to compare their notes, traveling all over the world at that time. And there was a general agreement, and we'll see it as we study back into those times. You know, when you look at the structure of all the, the, the symbols and the structure, the archetypal uh, ideas that were present and guiding every people all throughout the earth, you see that not only was God revealing the very same things to each of these peoples, but you begin to study that there was communication between the adepts in all of these various parts of the world, one with another. So now a, 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 uh, a prophetic tradition was established. All right, so this is just the one end of the spectrum. Now the prophets prophesied in terms of principles, in terms of ideas, they spoke of things and realities that um, that were not um, we that we could only accept by faith. It was the instrument of belief that uh, brought us into communion with these prophets and their sayings. But now we are passing from belief to a state of sight. We are now in this moment. We are seeing with our eyes the unfolding of all those things that the prophets spoke about. But now as we proceed, you know, as this moment of sight moves along like uh, the quantum rhythm of reality itself, now we've come to the other end of history where we are able through the sciences of relativity and quantum physics through the work of Copernicus and Newton and Kepler and finally on right into the time of Einstein and the quantum physicists our time, we are now able to look into this invisible dimension, this transcendent fourth dimension, 10 dimension, dimensional reality, but we're doing it through the means of science, through the means of mathematics. In other words, what God is doing is how what God revealed in the beginning of time, he is now and they are now confirming to be true.